All right, honors pre calculus class. Uh, this is Mr. Earth here. I just thought I'd show you a quick little video um, to help you visualize what homework number five is talking about. So over here, you can see the wheel, and the wheel has radius three. And at time equals zero, it's starting where it's tangent to the origin. And notice up here, you can see the time clock, so or timeline rather, I guess. So it's starting at time equals zero. And here is this rigid rod so the red segment is this rigid rod so one endpoint is on the center of the circle and then since the circle is radius 3 and the rod has radius 4 as stated in the problem it sticks outside the circle a little bit and I sort of marked the other endpoint here in blue and when I click here on this checkbox I'm sorry, on this checkbox right here, the wheel is going to start rolling along the x-axis in the positive direction. And I believe in the problem said it's going to roll at 5 feet per second. So, in fact, before I click the button, I'm just going to drag the time over to 5. And you'll see as it starts rolling, 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 and let me roll it back. Let me roll it just for one second. I'm going to use my arrow keys to get it exact. So... You can see here, although it didn't mark the 5, the 5 is right in between the 4 and the 6, and it's rolled exactly 5 feet. So in one second, it rolled 5 feet. So this is just kind of a verification that it's moving at 5 feet per second. There we go. And I believe the homework said to do it for 10 seconds. So at the 10 second mark, it should be right at 50 feet away from where it started. It started at 0, and it's ending at 50. So in fact, it's rolling at 5 feet per second. And you can see that the uh, the blue spot, that blue endpoint, the one that's at the end of the rigid rod, is making a certain path. And I have a little animation button here that will show this. So there we go. And if you actually want to see the path, let me unclick that, set this back again. Here's the path. So this is what I want you guys to make and also come up with the equation for that graph. Um, all right, hopefully that helps you visualize what's going on with this problem. Good luck.